<laughs> Yo! Let me try that again, actually. Yeah! Just a good old boy. And his name is Outlaw. He loves to make bitches hunting, fishing, and spitting some child. So I've come to the realization that I do a lot of stuff, man. But I also have a lot to do. Let's call it chaos. Not just in my life, but in the shop. My life is a freaking mess. Maybe I do too much, you know? Time to organize that deal. Full-time YouTuber since 2007, son. Traveling and creating entertainment to give everyday blue-collar folks like me a reality escape. I always wanted to be an actor when I was a kid because I was obsessed with making people have feelings. But when I found out what Hollywood was really like while filming our movie called The Dip Run in 2018, available now on Amazon, I appreciate that. I thought maybe I should stick to YouTube where I can do whatever the fuck I want without some carpetbagger in a suit trying to make money off me or my ideas. How about running a unique merch company offering folks like you more options than just a lousy t-shirt that every Jim Bob and his brother hooks up with his grandma who is also his dad sells on Etsy or on their Squarespace website that they saw an ad for on a Joe Rogan podcast. I'm talking about good old leather goods such as boots, wallets, keychains, and sometimes belt buckles. We have shirts on there too actually. <laughs> like the one I'm wearing right now. <laughs> So. Started a dip company because the industry hasn't seen any innovation in the past century because all the laws and regulations on tobacco by the federal government. So we made it tobacco free, actually released all the flavors these billion dollar tobacco companies have always wanted to release but can't, and most importantly gave our customers the voice to share their opinions on how we can make our company better every single day. Not to mention the other brands we are continuously working on to try and give our customers every option possible when it comes to putting a fat juicy chaw in their lip to pass the time and enjoy their day. I also think it's kind of fun to make music. I wouldn't consider myself a, like a musician or anything. Uh, but that one time in fourth grade, I did play the trumpet. I was pretty gosh dang good. <laughs> my mom wanted to shove that thing up my ass. I've had giant hits such as Backwoods Badass. Sagging her boobs. Shot collar from a holler. And masturbate. You can tell I uh, take this very serious. I consider myself more of a writer, actually, you know? I can uh, proudly say that I have written every single song I have released myself, okay? That's more than a lot of people could say. <laughs> Nashville. I'm constantly making music because it's fun for me, you know what I'm saying? Not because I want to make it a career. And sometimes that resorts to me sitting on songs that have been done for a long time and never release them like these. I'm the king of the mountain, lord of the woods, treats of the pine trees, man I'm feeling good, I'm the master of disaster on the way to killing you. Make sure and grab all the I'm a trap lord, I'ma trap you in my trap door Pull the cord, put you in the floor, pin you to a board Caught a hair in the snare, I cut it, I gut it, I take it soul to my lair Should I release those, or uh, give me enough crap in the comments, maybe I will I like to be bullied, especially by my wife, in bed And that brings me to this Chew on this seasonings. Spice is so fresh, it'll make your nose tingle and your dick dangle. <laughs> this right here is not your average seasoning shaker. This is a dip can. Our refillable dip can shaker, son. Come on now. Just screams America, don't it? <laughs> Whoa, forgot to close that fucker. I've seen the past few years, I've been seeing a lot of people come out with a lot of different seasonings, you know what I mean? It's just like, same old, same old, you know, whatever. I don't know, it's like no innovation, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
Making the shaker to look like a dip can, dude. Design the packaging to look like a log of dip. Design the actual shaker to fit on your person so you can focus on moving your meat. Make it easily refillable so you don't have to constantly buy more plastic every month that just ends up in the trash. And then in the ocean. And then kills whales, turtles, and other majestic creatures like Mermaids. Heavy duty plastic engraved rack for easy storage and kitchen display. Dude, a wife's gonna freaking love it. Actual meat dedicated seasonings to not confuse the consumer, but all of them are still good on anything depending on what your taste buds are craving. So, you know, that's great. Uh, gluten free, no MSG, no flavor enhancers. Just fresh, real spices, baby. That's it. All the ingredients are labeled on the front of the cans where the warning label should be, dude. It comes with six completely original blends in which you have to give cool names to, right? Mother Clucker for chicken. Wishing I was fishing for fish. Fine swine for pork. Shaking steak for steak or any red meat. Uh, backwoods barbecue for that smoky classic barbecue taste and last but not least species sprinkle which is our seasonal for any meat or veggies you know if you're into that sort of thing now that's innovation also this is also a sticker <laughs> Available now on ChewOnThisSeasonings.com and Amazon and OutlawDip.com. And I'm also a husband, a side chick to this fine dime right here, and most importantly, a father to at least one that I know of right now. Stay tuned. Sometimes I just want to like cower in my office and cry. Woe is me. Why, God? Why you got to make me so spastic and sporadic? At 15, my goal was to be a pro MMA fighter. I worked hard at it, dude. I was obsessed. But then the next day, she, I bought a ticket to Alaska because I wanted to be a gillnet fisherman on the Bering Sea and slang them salmon. So I did that too. I tried to join the Marine Corps when I was 17 years old because I thought doing that, one, I mean, my family, you know, they all did the same thing, but... I was just gonna follow suit, but I also thought, you know, it was gonna lay some great groundwork for my life moving forward. I thought like that, dude, come on now. But I couldn't even get past MEPS cause I'm deaf. My recruiter would stand over the dude that does the hearing test. He would stand over his shoulder and he'd like wave at me when he was, you know, when I should push the button, when the beep happens, you know? But I would always like, kind of get a little bit of anxiety and I would hit the button a little too early. And then I would look out the window of the booth and like there's my recruiter and the dude doing the hearing test uh, just laughing at me, you know? I get up out that booth and that dude looks me straight in the face. You failed. And I thought it was like the perfect moment to make this joke. What? <laughs> but then it came to me. Not everyone is on the same path as me. Just because Samantha from Athens, Georgia didn't make YouTube videos about dip for 15 years and then start a bunch of businesses and make some music about hunting, fishing, and uh, beating her meat doesn't mean that she doesn't have a lot going on too. Chaos. It's everywhere. Everyone has chaos up here. Especially nowadays. With social media, the internet, information moving at light speed. It's the steps. 
It's the steps you take to organize that chaos, you know, that's going to help you overcome. What do I do? Are you coming at me for advice? I don't know yet. I'm still figuring this out. A lot of you might be too. You know, I, I, I write a lot of shit down. Surround myself with like-minded people who also have the initiative to get shit done too. I try, the key word is try, to focus on one single thing at a time. And usually it's the one that gives you the most motivation at the time. You gotta put yourself in a long-term mindset. That's what I try to do. You know, you can't be having this short, I gotta get it done now mindset. I did that for a long time, you know what I mean? They're like, it's never going to turn out how you want it if you have that mindset. Having a long-term mindset, you're able to focus on more things. You're able to go back a little bit and be like, mm, maybe I changed this, maybe I changed that. Nothing is ever gonna get fixed now, man. It takes time. Look at a good pour of bourbon, a good glass of wine, dude. It takes time to become fine. Fine swine. If you, ha if you have a short-term now mindset with no planning, it's never gonna turn out like you envisioned. Take pride in your work, even though no one else is seeing it, you know what I mean? I mean, I worked on this, this chew on this seasonings for over a year. No one knew we was doing it, but the whole time I made sure I was proud of myself. Enjoy the ride, you know what I mean? Make sure I'm proud of what I'm doing now without someone sitting there patting me on the back the whole time. I guess what I'm trying to say, y'all, is we all got a little chaos going on up here. You know, it's probably because we all just live on this big, beautiful, round rock in the middle of this black ocean of nothing that no scientist knows about, really. Sorry, that's for another vid. There is just so many fun and interesting things to do on this planet, like tennis. So of course, us human beings are going to get a little overwhelmed with chaos at times. And us as human beings sometimes want to seep down deep in a hole because they feel like no one can relate. When in fact, everyone around us is going through the same thing. At the end of the day, when it comes to organizing your chaos, I say, do what makes you happy. Do what is fun. Do what is interesting to you not what is interesting to other people because you have a little bit of FOMO. That just adds to the chaos. So with all that being said, go on over to chewonthisseasonings.com and slather your meats with some mouth-watering spice, baby. Just a good old boy and his name is Outlaw He loves to make bitches hunting, fishing and spitting some chalk